Hello, my Dutchie. How are you guys doing today? I know it's been a couple of days since our last episode. And as you can see, things have changed just a little bit. Just a smidgen. Not exponentially or anything like that. You might see that I am sporting the typical space engineer's suit. However, in the large part, you would be mistaken. Oh, sorry. I bumped my mouse. That... That is why you'd be mistaken. Sometime between the last time I recorded and now that I'm bringing you to this, somebody has put up on the workshop a character model that is very much in line with something that I've had a complaint about for a long, long time. I mean, but I'm going to compliment I mean, look at the hair. How cute is that? Right? Really, really nice mesh here. Good textures. All that good stuff. And I really think that I'm going to be using her from now on. Just because, you know, it's the typical engineer suit with a female head. And I want to show Keen Software House. I know I've been harping on this a lot. And I'm going to try and minimize how much I harp on it in my videos for you guys. But please be aware that when it comes to Keen Software House, I am not giving up this fight. I am not. Because I got a comment from Chalks. 70. And if I mess up your name, I really apologize. I am really trying to get it right. But Chalk 70 has a daughter. I have no idea how old she is or anything along those lines. I assume she still lives at home, which means almost nothing because these days you get out of college, you still live at home. But he has his eldest daughter that lives at home and would like to try space engineers but chalks has expressed to me that the reason that she has not is because the developer keen software house makes it seem as though she is not welcome because they do not have a female character model vanilla they're depending pretty much exclusively on mods and I'm with her in that, ass that assessment and I know that I've said a couple of different times that I think I'm the only female YouTuber that is doing videos on space engineers and I have said that my conjecture is that it is because Keen does not have a vanilla female character model. To be entirely honest with you, in that particular sense, I hate being right. Because it's a conjecture that I've tossed around with a couple of friends of mine, and as I go through and explain this, why don't I go ahead and do some building? That sounds like fun, right? Okay. So, instead of just standing here, Let's go ahead and do some building. I have not really done a whole lot as far as this particular base is concerned. I mean, we got the industry in line. We still need to get this connector working. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that's something we really need to work on. Oh, I got construction components. So let's do this. But 
you know, I have an admission to make. And it's not that I'm embarrassed to say this, but in a lot of ways it kind of seems like it's a negative that I admit that, yeah, I'm a feminist. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat this. I am a feminist. And I am okay with this moniker. I do not shy away from it. I do not care. I am a feminist gamer. However, I'm not Anita Sarkeesian. I'm not going to sit here and harp endlessly on Keen Software House and belittle them for not having a female uh, engineer model in the game as it is. I will shake my head and be dissatisfied, but I'm not about to sit here and shake my finger and be all upset at Keen Software House. Because, for all intents and purposes, they are doing a phenomenal job on this game. And I have a little bit of surprise for you. I actually want to show you guys the miner. Oops. I actually want to show you guys the miner. Because I have been playing on the Deep Space Nation group survival world. And honestly, it has inspired me. And I've learned a few things from the guys on the DSN server. That... These small ship grinders, well, not the grinders, but the, uh, the mining ship, the small ship drills, are not as efficient as they used to be. And I did get the line that it kind of looks like potatoes, and honestly, I'm going to agree with you. This ship kind of looks like potatoes. And morphologists, if you take that as a compliment, okay, I did not intend to copy your design, but it is a bit of homage, so take it as you will. I mean, good engineers take designs from other engineers. And this is the mining ship. This, it's a good ship. She's pretty. She does what she needs to do. But, as far as space engineers goes at this particular point in time, I do not think that we're doing any sort of service to what we need to do in a survival world with a small mining ship. From all, from all accounts that I have heard as of late, it is better to go with a large ship model. Not a small ship, a large ship model. And does that mean that I'm going to... I keep running off the edge. I'm sorry, I've had a couple of things to drink tonight, you guys. But does that mean that I'm going to completely scrap this ship? No, absolutely not. I may repurpose it, but I'm not going to completely scrap it because I still have you guys voting on a name for the ship in episode 4. And last I checked, Azura and Snuffleupagus are still tied. What I may end up calling this ship <clears throat> is the Azura because that's the name that endeared me the most when the name was submitted and I really like that name and it's a really cool name for this particular ship now it may get it me a DCMA but at this particular point in time it was a suggestion from my community I'm going to build a ship with large ship drills that I'm going to call the Snuffleupagus. Yeah, I'm gonna call it the Snuffleupagus. 
because it's a really good name and it made me laugh. So that's what we're gonna do with that. That ship is the Azura. And I'll go ahead and, and, and rename it as far as the antenna cons is concerned. I'm going to take a little bit of yeah Michael if you notice your naming convention here that's on purpose so we are in the duchy I am her majesty this is her majesty's ship therefore it is the HMS Azura you're welcome. <clears throat> that is the name of the mining ship. That mining ship. I have tried to go through and do some mining with that ship, and it just honestly doesn't work out too well. I, I've tried everything I can to make that small ship work, but it really feels that Keen Software House has broken the small ships. Because it's even harder to uh, pilot a small mining ship than it is to just go in through and mine by hand. It's kind of sad. And I'm a little disappointed in the performance of the small ship drills. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a small-ish large ship. And that's the one we're going to put the drills on, and that's going to be our mining vessel. But, before we can manage to do that, what we do need to do is get our industrial center some form of power. And the best way to do power on planets, because a lot of different materials are not exactly plentiful, is to go through and do solar. So I think that's what we're going to do for now. And I'm thinking what we should do for now is probably, whoops, not that far off. Put those solar panels, say, on this side. Because we know that when the sun is up, it's over that ridge, right? So, we should set the solar panels up on this side of, on this side of the platform. I am going to build this platform up. Let me see. Yeah, I've got some, some steel plates and whatnot. I am going to build this part of the platform up. So don't worry about that. And I really like the, the look of the small, of the uh, curved blocks. And I'm going to keep with that theme. But for now, we can't really afford to close off this particular part of the platform. Because we really need to get power to our industrial centers. Because we need to go through and work the centrifuge and the stone crusher specifically because we need materials. We're running out of materials. And we need to have some form of industry going very soon because we're going to start to run out of materials. See, I'm already out of steel plates. There's, there's no steel plates whatsoever. So we're going to have to go through and... Oh! I think they updated the Star Wars mod so that the components actually have some form of picture. Well, that's good. I don't have a bunch of blank squares in my production screen. We need to get a bunch of steel plates going because we need to start building up the production there. And while that those are getting built, I need to check up on... Okay, we have bulletproof glass, we have displays, girders, 
metal grid, large steel tubes, construction components, interior plates, motors, computers, small steel tubes. The one thing we're really missing on is solar panels. Solar cells. I'm thinking what we probably should do is take these bullet this bulletproof glass into the inventory and go ahead and transfer that to the assembler and through the assembler make it stop doing its assembly Let it finish up the steel plates. And then we'll just say disassemble all with the bulletproof glass. Because the bulletproof glass is going to give us silicon. And in order to do the solar panels, we need silicon. Surprise, surprise. It's kind of there through just about every computer part. Doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, we're just about finished with these steel plates. Take those into the inventory. If they'll fit. I hope they fit. Okay. They fit. So we're gonna do disassemble, disassemble all. And that's gonna give us the silicon we need, I'm hoping, to do some solar plates. Or some solar cells. Because the most renewable resource we have on planets is the solar cells. Uranium is really difficult to get to. Unless you're in space, and then it's like abundant. It's like uranium and platinum are the two things that are relatively rare on planets, but you can get like in bountiful supply out in space. It's, it's, it's one of the weird ones. But how many do we need for a solar panel. Come on, G-Menu. Cooperate. So, we need to do solar. So we're going to need... 64. Per solar panel. So... I am not sure how many I want to do. How about we do three to start with? And that runs about 107... No, 192. So, try 200. Nickel. How do we not have nickel in the assembler? Oh wait, it's on disassemble. I'm dumb. Sorry. <clears throat> and this will take a good minute. But, back to the point that I was originally making. Is, you know, when you're talking about space engineers, you know, you can't help, really, but reference the fact that there's only a dude. And one of the things that I mentioned... I really like this mod. You know, I, I, I really do. Because, I mean, I had never heard of this particular character until I started looking up the mod. And it's Jennifer Goodwin from Deadfall Adventures. The more I look into this particular character, the more I'm intrigued by it. And... Deadfall Adventures, from what I've seen, the reviews and different things, like that, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that particular game. Um, I'm not going to play it. Because, yeah, as a feminist, when it has, like, super misogynist undertones, I'm not okay with this. Um, it makes me uncomfortable. But, the model is cute. And, I mean, you can get her from, like, 
Steam cards and whatnot. And let's face it, she's pretty cute. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that Keen use her as a character model because, well, she's probably copyrighted and that'll get him in trouble. But I am going to use this as the character model going forward because I may not be a natural redhead. I'm a brunette. But I like playing one on TV. You know, I... I kind of have a thing for gingers. And I want to, you know, I want to play a being one for a little bit. So, I'm going to stay a ginger. Because reasons. But... And there's my timer going off. And we're still waiting on solar panels. But what I'm, what I really want to say is that, you know, okay, 36%, I mean, that's average, 36% of my audience is female. And I'm, I'm talking to the girls out there, you know, my girls, you know, um, sometimes it may feel uncomfortable and I totally get you on that one. Sometimes it may feel uncomfortable, but the creativity and the imagination aspects and different things like that, the applicable concepts in space engineers are worth it. You know, even if the vanilla character model is a dude, this game is worth playing. And for those of you who might be afraid to try the game because you want to play a female character model, I would not be afraid to try it. Because the tungsten that we've used for, like, the whole series has been on the workshop for more than a year. It really has. Uh, CJ put it up there a long freaking time ago. And this model may have only gone up a couple of days ago on the 15th, but it is a port of an older mod that it was just a generic female face with a, with a ponytail. And the person who did the modeling put this head on it put the Jennifer Goodwin head. And I really like the hair. I mean, you know, it's really good hair, right? It's cute. And it's functional. I would not be worried about this character model, you know, going obsolete or something like that because, you know, they happen to change something. Change something with the animations. I do not perceive, according to the roadmap, I do not perceive the animations going anywhere for at least the next six months. At least. And the next six months is really a good time to dive into the game, get to know the systems, and see if you enjoy the game. If you don't enjoy the game, fine, move on, do something else. If you enjoy the game, know that I am going to do everything I can to get Keen Software House to listen to me, to understand that my conjecture, though I am a little bit uncomfortable that I'm right, my conjecture is correct. That there are women who want to play this game, but they do not feel represented it, or they do not feel that Keen Software House cares enough about them to represent them in the game, i.e. having a female character model. And to the daughter of Chalk 70, I mean, I'm I'm going to extend a ri I'm going to extend a rare thing here. I am going to tell you, Chalks, please take it to your daughter. I'm going to tell you right here, right now. 
I cordially invite you to play this game with me. I mean, we will start a whole new world. I will teach you step one, step two, step three. I will teach you the whole game. Because I love this game. I care enough about it that I want you to enjoy it as much as I do. And I will put in, you know, the the female character model. I will put in, you know, different mods and stuff like that to make it look pretty and whatnot. To give you the best experience that you can have with this game. I cordially invite you. I may even live stream it. And I'm kind of on the fence about live streaming because I only have one monitor. And I can't engage my audience properly. So I'm a little bit on the fence about live streaming, but I would live stream it with you. Because I want to sit here for a couple of hours on end with you showing you the game. And if you want to, you know, we could live stream it and hey, I'll make you YouTube famous. I'm cool with that. Because I want somebody to enjoy this game as much as I do. Jocks can you tell your daughter that? Can you sit her in front of this video and tell her that? That I cordially invite her to play this game with me. I would do that. But, for now, our time is over. I know we didn't get a whole lot done this episode. But, some important points were made. And we'll get some more done. We'll try and see if we can get the, the solar panels up there on the platform. We'll see if we can get that done. And some batteries. We're going to need nickel and silicon. Yeah. Okay. For now, Dutchy, I love you. There are now at least 65 of you. And I love every single one of you. You're very near and dear to my heart. Thank you so much. We'll see you in episode 9. Goodbye, Dutchie. I got work to do.